Hello, Bill Molino here for Bill's War Game World, and I have a, a case of games arrived from Blue Panther, including my new War of 1812 Designers Edition. So, without further ado, uh, for you board war gamers out there, Blue Panther Printing is my new printer. And we have Brandywine with Germantown, Valley Forge, and Paoli at Blue Panther Printing with my new boxes. Uh, Blue Panther Printing and Steve Jones and the whole team there, they're fantastic. So I, I can't say enough of how awesome they are. They're getting all my museums uh, taken care of for the 2024 season. And we do have some glare, I apologize for that. But we're gonna open up the War of 1812 game. All right, French Indian War Volume 2 features Fort Frederick. French Indian War Volume 1 features artwork by uh, that's owned by Fort Ticonderoga. And Stuart Lilly and them, uh, they actually did the, the about the, uh, the cover art and everything. So we have War of 1812. Now once I cut the plastic wrap, we should be good um, as far as glare issues. All right, so let's do an unboxing. Now this was once a three volume set and uh, I had always wanted to just make it one game, but at the time I didn't really run everything and we had different printer with different ideas. And we're just moving forward. We're not looking backwards. Now, um, one of the things I'm trying to work on is, one, we have a new game coming out soon called Weiss Fork, Second Battle of Kinston. And that game will be quite a bit more complex. And uh, Kim Metis is helping with that. All right, I hope I didn't have a lot of sound static from that plastic wrap but this is live Bill's Basement Wargaming World. War of 1812. Um, it contains the early battles, later battles, and Jackson's battles. 40 battles in one complete set. I am not going to read them all off. Um, what I am happy about is the price point. Um, this is under $60. Um, you can also purchase this at the Carlisle War College and a couple other sites too. I just haven't gotten them. They haven't been delivered yet. All right. Now, I've had a couple, you know, people often say my games are uh, too simplistic. And that might be true for some and others maybe not. But I will say one thing. Most of all my games, uh, Horns of the Buffalo, and yes, I have a couple issues with that where I use the wrong spelling and this and that, but it's still very playable. And I actually am uh, very proud that my games contain a lot of game for the money. So for, a, for basically $55, your scenario book contains 40 battles. You're talking about $1.35 a game. Um, so, do I need to read them off? Um, I don't think I'm going to bother. However, some of the most important ones, um, well, North Point is right here in Baltimore. North Point Battle, by the way, is really Dundalk, and the drummer from the Go-Go's, Gina Shock, is from Dundalk. And, uh, some of you that might know my history with the band of Flock of Seagulls will understand why I know that. So, here's our counters. Okay, do a close up. These are nice counters, nice artwork. Um, we got our leaders. So, a, a, not a huge amount of counters. It's just right for a beginner or you know, 
war gamers that really want a short game you could play several of these in a night so we have our terrain chart tells you your movement and all and then we have our maps so we're going to do the rule book last so here's our maps and steve i have to say mr steve jones and his son trevor and all they really did a lot of reworking on this um they really edited the scenarios um the descriptions they fixed some of my grammar issues and there's the Battle of New Orleans. Now the one thing I did not have done, which would have cost quite a bit of money and also a lot of time, was to have the maps updated. Uh, and at this time, the maps are very playable and maybe in the future I will look at that. But for right now, I'm just happy to get a product out um, that's been revamped with um, you know at a good price point and many of my museums were really waiting for this so here's our rule book and it's uh, the designers edition now if you have volume one and volume three but not volume two I apologize because um, uh, but you can get uh, all three volumes in one box Here we have our artillery, termed as guns. They do have a range factor. Um, the Brandywine game um, had a slight issue with the artillery, but uh, no big deal on the counters reading for range. This game here, the War of 1812, has ranged rifles. And you place this counter on a, on a regular unit to represent it has rifles. And of course, we have all the contact information for Blue Panther Printing, Bill Molyneux, Summary of the War of 1812. And, you know, this product is, it, it contains a lot. And there's your key for your, your units and your range markers for an artillery piece. So what, what is really, I think, the neatest part um, is the amount of games, the different scenarios. And many of these have never been played before in a board game. So for about $55, where in the world can you get 40 games in one box and all with separate maps? Beaver Dams, Brownstown, Canary Island, Chattooga, and let me see, uh, there's Chippewa. So, I'm going to say the Battle of New Orleans when I... Uh, my friend Elwood Woody Christ, who's passed away um, over a decade now, he actually helped me with New Orleans. Um, so, 1D10, it uses the same combat system as French Indian War Volume 1 and 2, not the Brandywine game. The Brandywine game uses a, a D6 system. So, the box actually has some weight to it. 40 battles, one complete set, and price point, about $55. Um, the Carlisle War College is getting their copies in the next few days. And I believe the historic Jerusalem Mills, uh, which is located right here in Baltimore. We'll be carrying a copy or two. And I can't wait to tell you where else this game might be, but uh, we have not confirmed that yet. So, a couple other things about my games. War of 1812 is already being sold at Fort Niagara. That's right, and Will Emerson, who's in charge of the historical education, um, 
with the uh, Living Historians. Uh, he is officially endorsed this game. Dr. David Preston of the French Indian War fame and professor of history at the Citadel War College has officially uh, uh, vetted and also says both of these games are awesome. So the Battle of Brandywine with Germantown, Paoli, and the What If Valley Forge. Miss Nancy at the gift shop at Brandywine. She just loves these. And um, I really think the Valley Forge scenario has helped generate a lot of sales for this. So that's about it for now. War of 1812. And I'm very happy with how the how they came out. Steve did a fantastic job at Blue Panther. And I gotta say, when you order a game from Blue Panther Printing, it's out in a few days. It's not months to receive it. And if you are a fledgling game designer or game company and you're looking for a printer, and uh, you know, you're a smaller game designer, such in uh, you know at uh, Worthington or one of the larger game companies, you know, your game doesn't appeal to one of the large game companies, don't worry, Steve can take care of it and he'll have you up and running in no time flat. By the way, I also have Struggle for New France, um, which has been out for about 12 years now through Blue Panther Printing. And I have the honor of that had been reviewed by uh, Mr. Richard Berg. Um, he reviewed it very close to the point when he passed away. And he gave it a very good review. I was quite surprised. All right, so War of 1812, Designer's Edition, Blue Panther Printing. Steve and his whole team are awesome. Thank you for watching. Um, please support my games if you can. If you're a historic site, we have the special code to get you the special museum discount. And they're endorsed by many historians, including Dr. David Preston of the Citadel and his famous book, Braddock's Defeat. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe, be kind, be courteous. And thank you again for watching.